Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News, your go-to source for the latest gaming updates. Today, we're diving into the latest news about Fallout 4 and its next-gen update. Let's get right into it. First up, we have some great news for Fallout 4 fans. The latest next-gen update has significantly reduced average load times. Players were used to waiting around 40 seconds for the game to load, but now, thanks to the update, load times can be as quick as 15 seconds. That's a huge improvement. But as with any update, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. This patch has also sparked some controversy, particularly among PC players. Some crucial mods like the script extender have stopped working, which has led to frustration among the modding community. If you're a PC player relying on these mods, be aware that you might encounter some new bugs and issues. In other exciting news, Fallout 4 has seen a significant increase in player numbers, thanks in part to the success of Amazon Prime's Fallout show. The series has gained a lot of attention and more players are diving back into the game. With the next-gen update 2, Fallout 4 continues to evolve and improve, offering players a more refined and engaging experience on modern gaming platforms. Now, let's take a closer look at the patch notes for the Fallout 4 next-gen update 2. Here's what you need to know. Update versions. Xbox Series SX, 110765. PlayStation 5, 110985. PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, 110984. Patch highlights. Xbox Series SX and PlayStation 5 display settings. Thanks to player feedback, there's now an option to control your graphic fidelity and performance. While the default settings are recommended, you can tweak the options to better fit your playstyle and display. Frame rate target. You can now choose between 30, 40, and 60 FPS default. To select 40 FPS, your display must support 120 HC. Visual and performance prioritization. You can choose between visuals and performance default to maintain your frame rate target. For a 60 FPS target, we recommend selecting performance. Both modes may dynamically adjust internal resolution during heavy scenes or action. Bug fixes. General stability improvements. Fixed visual issues with certain image spaces. Auto HDR is re-enabled Xbox Series SX. Fixed issue where reserved space wasn't displayed correctly in the load order menu Xbox Series SX. Fixed issue with character name field in widescreen mode PC. Fixed an issue causing bundles to not fully download, potentially causing a crash. Fixed material swaps issue. Fixed load order issue breaking DLC until a restart after downloading mods PlayStation 5. Fixed an issue causing a crash when returning to the main menu with queued mods still downloading PlayStation 5. Fixed creation club menu not appearing Microsoft Store. Fixed a crash when connecting to the network after a suspend resume with the network disabled Xbox One. Creations fixes. Fixed missing art issue with certain creations. That's all for today, folks. Fallout 4 continues to evolve, bringing both improvements and new challenges. Be sure to keep your game updated and check for any patches that might address issues you're facing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more gaming news and updates. Thanks for watching Joystick News, and we'll see you next time.